on uh, the action that is going to be embarked upon uh, in a uh, few coming days. Uh, and it's aimed at, one, the president must resign, and two, the energy crisis must be resolved, the cost of living is too high. And listening to President Hassan, I am in deep admiration uh, with regard to what they have achieved. Our politics is fractious, we are divided, and this is also an issue of going to the elections next year. Mm -hmm. uh, many uh, parties, when you go to an election, start positioning themselves because they want to win the vote and they will often position themselves in a way which is completely against the governing party. But what I'd like to say is that South Africa is governed by the rule of law. We are a constitutional democracy. Regime change can only come about through the vote. It cannot come about through anarchy, unleashing disorder in a country, the right to protest is enshrined in our Constitution. It's deeply embedded in our Constitution, and it is a right that we as South Africans fought for and won so that South Africans can protest against what may be uh, issues that they don't agree with. But that right is not absolute. Nobody can just stand up and say, I have all the right to do whatever I like. That right is not absolute. It is a limited right. It's not underpinned by violence. It's not a right that allows anyone to be embarking on anarchy or disorder. It is a right that says you must respect the rights of others. It is not a right for anyone to coerce anybody to do what they do not want to do. Mm. And it is not a right that you have to intimidate others mm. and to threaten others with violence and say, if you do not do what we like, we are going to take action against you. That completely goes against the ethos of our Constitution. Now, coercing others to act in a way that you want is not part of our democratic architecture. And I wanted to say very clearly, disorder and anarchy will not be allowed in South Africa. We will not allow those who want to spread anarchy to do what they like here in South Africa. We are a constitutional democracy Yesterday, we had a meeting of our National Security Council, and we discussed this. And the security forces of our country are going to defend our people. They are going to make sure that intimidation, anarchy, and disorder does not prevail. But those who want to protest, by all means, you protest peacefully, but if you are going to restrict the rights of other people if you are going to coerce them, if you are going to intimidate them and unleash violence. Our security forces are going to defend the people of South Africa. That I must make clear because we will not allow anarchy and disorder to prevail in this country and against the people of South Africa. That will not be allowed. So we will see what happens. But then again, it's interesting that Monday is a long weekend. It's a long weekend. Many of our people will probably be traveling uh, to their homes. And we expect that there will be full order and harmony in our country. But security forces stand ready to defend the people of South Africa. Thank you very much.